So XPW was a wrestling federation that was around for a few years in the 2000s. It existed because people thought it was ECW. Let's be real, that's why it was around. And uh, now it's gone. It's gone because, well, it wasn't ECW and then people were like, I was swindled. Their television product was not good at all. Their pay-per-view product, it's all right. Nothing, nothing too special. It's average. But oh dear lord, this television product is god awful. So uh, we're going to be going through all the problems with XPW as a television product. And uh, this is not me as an expert, this is just me as a fan. Uh, picking apart all the problems. Now, a lot of people say, as a fan, oh, you're just, you're just a mark criticizing this stuff. Well, it's like, I'm a fan. I give you money. If you don't have money, you cease to exist. So, I call this point, brevity is the soul of wit, and essentially what it means is, uh, the essence of a witty statement lies in a concise delivery. Uh, you know, in the television context, or in a much simpler way, it means uh, don't waste your viewers' fucking time. Uh, XPW is the wrestling personification of wasting your viewers' fucking time. I'm not expecting a wrestling show to be nothing but matches, because, you know, you gotta pepper it with story to really make it, like, enjoyable. Like, a good wrestling match is that much better with context. But the fact of the matter is, like, XPW just overwhelms you with context. Each episode is like 53 minutes long. That's like that's the perfect length for a wrestling show in my opinion. Or under under an hour. Perfect perfect length for a wrestling show in my opinion because you just start out good. You're done. But oftentimes in XPW in that hour you get count them one match. And how long do you have to wait? A half hour. I don't know exactly how this product was delivered to people whether it was through the internet or on television. But if I was someone that was just flicking through the channels trying to find something to watch on television and I saw wrestling, I would stop and I'd be like, oh cool, wrestling. But if I had to wait five, six minutes and no matches came on, I'd be like, I'm out. So to me, it's really no shock that this company didn't do well based on its TV product. And spoiler alert, the pay-per-view product wasn't that much better either. So yeah, don't waste your viewers time because if you do, they'll just do something else. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, I am Rob Black. I am the king of XPW. I am the heel authority figure on XPW. My talent, my latent God-given gift is talking for what feels like hours, hours, ladies and gentlemen, when in reality, I've been talking for only minutes, minutes. It is a gift. It is a wonderful gift. You know what else I love to talk about, ladies and gentlemen? I love to talk about backstage politics and deals that happen with local businesses that ban XPW from their facilities. I have no w idea why they would do such things. All I did, all I did, ladies and gentlemen, was make one of my wrestlers jump off of a building covered in barbed wire and cement into a mousetrap filled dungeon of explosives. It was crazy. <sighs> Coke gives me strength. I don't know where I got this idea to be the heel authority figure. It is so original. No wrestling company has ever done it before. But you know what else I love more than talking for hours and hours and hours? Complaining about those no good, dirty ECW bastards. Paul Heyman, you can suck my right nut. Primarily because I lost my left nut in a barbed wire patch. A barbed wire patch because barbed wire sprouts from the ground. Or at least that's what I've been told in my dreams. Why can't I be you? <sighs> Go gives me strength to continue in the face of this ECW aggression. Ladies and gentlemen, our next show will be next week at the Metal, Metal Fest. I don't know, Metal went out of style a month ago. I said so because I'm Robert Black and I am the arbiter of what is cool and what is not cool. So you know what? See you next week on XPW Television. Wait. Shit, it's 2016. We went out of business already. The rest
wrestlers in XPW bleed way too much, and it's not because of, like blood and wrestling is necessarily bad, but it's because they have no idea how to approach blood as like an actual uh, so storytelling device, let's say. Uh, in wrestling, blood is meant to be like a, a, a point with which to emphasize the story. Uh, it, it feels very clinical to describe it like this, but um, let's explain the importance of blood within professional wrestling. If you're an audience member, and you see two guys fighting, and then all of a sudden one guy starts bleeding, you're like, holy shit, he's getting his ass kicked. This fight's almost gonna be over soon. Simple as that. And then if that guy who's bleeding manages to fight his way through said adversity and win the match, you're like, that guy is a badass motherfucker who I have got to watch in the future. So blood in that way is, uh, it, it communicates things to the audience in a way that words necessarily don't. But it feels like in every XPW match, everyone bleeds. Everyone. And they don't spend any time, like, acknowledging it or, like, you know, selling it. They're just kind of them like, well, shit, I'm bleeding. Let's proceed to have a 20-minute match with flips and shit. At, at, at which point the blood is just gratuitous and unnecessary and a health risk. And everybody has AIDS. So this part of the video is going to be a litany of complaints that I didn't think would fit anywhere else within the video. Primarily because, well, I couldn't think of any pithy, like, slide names. Uh, XPW has this weird thing where they bring in uh, ideas that I don't really think work within the context of wrestling. Uh, a good example of this is uh, pedophilic murderer clowns. Uh, obviously, this is playing off of Pennywise from Stephen King's It. Uh, the thing is, is that I don't know how all this works, considering they're bringing the concept of death into professional wrestling. Um, I feel like by bringing death in, they're attempting to create an Undertaker character, but uh, they're just kind of further devaluing blood, and um, I don't know. It, it, it just comes off as silly and stupid. One of the things about XPW that other people noticed when I was watching the show with them was uh, the porno level acting of this show. Oh dear lord. It is glorious. And uh, by glorious, I mean horrible. Absolutely dreadful. Um, homeless Jimmy? Magnifique. Beautiful. He's, he's a god among men. Because, like, the way he reads, it's, it's just like... I was inspired to create for me one day as I noticed on unsightly remarks. I decided to choose the latter. I carefully selected an empty space and drew crosses on a hill. Under the drawing, I printed the words for me. That's that's how that's how the dude reads. And it's painful because he's explaining this backstory that it's just Absolutely cringeworthy. You know who's the gold star out of this show in terms of acting, despite the fact that I made fun of him in my XPW Freefall review? Supreme. Why? Because he seems like he's genuine. He reminds me of Josh from Drake and Josh, and I don't know why. It might be because, you know, he's a little, he's a little chubby, he's a little fat, but he's funny. I like him. He punches people in the face in construction sites. That's something I can respect. You get a gold star, Supreme. Keep doing what you do. Don't kill me in my sleep. Messiah, though, his promos in this show, I don't know, he might be better now, so please, once again, don't kick me. They burn. They burn in this show. Why? Because all he does, he holds, he, he, he's like, you, you will read this, and this book, this book, will be your life. Except he doesn't move any facial muscles. His facial muscles stay completely still. And he bugs out his eyes. And he's like, You will know I am the son of God.
and it's it's awkward because his, his face is like his voice doesn't change very much his like actual tone the tone of his voice doesn't change very much it's just like I can change the volume of my voice so you know there's that and I don't I'm not one of these people that's offended by everything but goddamn Rob Black like you did not know how to hold back on like the they're a different type of person than me. <laughs> Isn't that hilarious? Asians, am I right? <laughs> like, really? So in the process of making this video, I did a little bit of reading on some wrestling forums, and uh, not a lot of people look favorably back at XPW. And, uh, you know, that's kind of sad, because wrestling fans, I think, like to debate a little bit, and, um, I, I think it's kind of funny that nobody is like, Yeah, man, XPW was my shit, brah. It's my favorite. That, that was like my fed, dude. But, uh, no, there just seems to be this universal consensus that's like, Yep. XPW was, uh, the, driz the drizzling shits. Yeah, that just seems like a good way to end this.